It's not uncommon for Taiwanese presidential candidates to visit the U.S. ahead of national elections. And yesterday, DPP Chairwoman Tsai Ing-wen, the presidential nominee of her party, announced plans to visit the U.S. as early as this summer. Tsai's itinerary would include meeting U.S. officials, congressional members, think tanks, and overseas Taiwanese associations. U.S. House Committee on Foreign Affairs Chairman Ed Royce expressed his hope to meet with Tsai later this year in the U.S. DPP Chairwoman Tsai Ing-wen met Ed Royce, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives and chairman of the House Committee of Foreign Affairs at the DPP party headquarters. I hope that we'll be able to continue these discussions when I am in Washington, D.C. later this year. She will be in the United States, as I'm sure um, we will also see uh, uh, leaders of the other political party in the United States. And I meet rather regularly with... Uh, uh, representatives uh, from Taiwan uh, in Washington. Of who is elected is a decision to be made by the people of Taiwan, and we should not try to influence that decision. Royce's comments that he would meet with other party leaders is notable, as a pan blue camp has yet to decide on a presidential candidate. Ed Royce, I've met with Chairman Ed Royce in the U.S., but actually, on my many visits to the U.S., I have met with many members of the ruling and opposition party, along with congressional leaders. I don't think we need to specially arrange a meeting this year. I've always said that Taiwan-U.S. relationship should be accumulated over a long period of time in order to become more stable. Tsai's decision to visit the U.S. as early as this summer will not only help strengthen and develop relations with the U.S., but also provide her an opportunity to explain her cross-strait policy.